Hi and welcome to another video by uh, GH90. Um, it's been a long time, yeah, and it's been a little while. Um, I haven't ridden to work. It's the first time coming to work uh, just after 8.30. I got here pretty early actually. Um, left about 6.30. I got here just after 7.30, it took me an hour. Uh, nine, it took me about an, it took me an hour and a, probably 10 minutes because as soon as I sort of knew where I was, I took a different route uh, to get in. Um, the ride um, was pretty good. It was actually quite a tough ride because I didn't use the Cycle um, cycle Streets app. I just thought, I was thinking about the evidence of why not I just use the normal Google Maps app. Um, and I was checking it out the other day and from work it was saying quick route was 40 43 minutes. But then from home it was saying an hour and six minutes. So I thought I'd try that route. And there was a lot of uphill um, to get to get to work. Um, it was tough, but um, I did. I didn't stop at any point all the way to work. Um, it was the timing of how long it would take was pretty spot on actually for me. Um, and yeah, the ride was okay. Um, it's been a little while since I've actually ridden the bike for that sort of distance. Reason being is um, it's going through a few things in my life at the moment, and not as easy as an excuse, but um, had been a bit rough rough couple of months for me I and mean, that's the whole reason why I've got this bike to try and keep myself <coughs> keep myself pretty much <laughs> sane really and with all the things going on um, and today I feel pretty good actually that I just did it I thought you know what I keep making excuses and putting it off but I've done it um, I didn't show you about that bag um, which I'll go through in, in, uh, in a little minute in a minute but um ride was good um, it was tough to f um, it was a bit long so I was along the canal and then it took me onto the main roads which I was a little bit scared about but it was okay um, just use common sense when you see those big lorries and trucks and um, just give them space um, just try to be seen try to make sure that I'm seen I didn't wear that jacket I just had that in my bag I took it out and um, because I had things in there um, that bag is pretty good it's a very big actually um, I've got quite a lot of stuff in there um, stuff I'm gonna leave here anyway I'm not gonna take it all with me but I'm gonna leave it here so like my shoes I bought a change of clothes um, I bought some wipes which I'll go through another video about um, um, toiletries and things like that I got my laptop in there and my organizer and I had the jacket um, I've got my D-lock and my cable lock in there and, and everything and it didn't really feel, I thought it was going to be like heavy and like bearing down on my back but it didn't um, the name of the bag, well, it's got Lomo in there, I'm not really too, too fond of that but I thought it's not about, just the name is about that yeah. from behind I can be seen that by a bag, bro, instead of wearing that fluorescent jacket this bag will just light up especially with the um, the um, reflective parts on it as well, those arrows, um, it will just light up, you could, it could be seen from anywhere. Um, so yeah, that's, 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 a really, that's a fire alarm, um, so I'll come back to you about that. Yeah, fire alarm stop my test, as it's Tuesday today. Um, yeah, so pretty much happy with that bag, it felt secure, secure in the chest and on the waist, so there's no swinging around. Um, I've read re reviews about the bag that there's a lot of straps and stuff but to tell you the truth if you're going to put a lot of stuff or carry a lot of things it's a great there's no other pockets inside but you can fit a lot in there um, and it feels pretty good actually on my back and it feels well if you pack it right it's got padding on, on, on the back as well um, if you pack it right then it'll just feel comfortable so I made sure I packed it the night before and as you see, that's the back. If you can see it very well. It's got the that's the chest and some more down down the down the bottom for the waist. And these reflect as well. 
so it's pretty good. And basically you just wrap it over and it becomes water resistant, waterproof, basically. No water's getting in there with the um with the material that is. It's pretty tough. So you roll it over and it's just waterproof. So I'm pretty pretty happy with it. That's why I got it. Um, I bought it off Amazon. Um, it wasn't that much, I think it was maybe about 30 quid I think, I'm not totally too sure because I bought it a while ago and um, I just never really used it to tell it sitting there and I thought yeah I'm going to do it so I can just bring quite a few things in. Um, the ride of the bike, yeah, just is the same, um, yeah, just mind the potholes really <laughs> and uh, yeah it'd be comfortable, um, haven't had any issues with it. I heard a little clicking here and there so I might just go and just see about that. And what that is, I think it's just a gear adjustment. Maybe it's just come out of alignment. I think when I change into certain gears, I hear a little like clicking coming from like the front derailleur. Um, and sometimes I press it again and then it goes. So I think it might just be an adjustment thing. Um, I'll look into that, but I've never had any issues with that. Um, and yeah, and yeah, if you look at cycle to work, I'd say do it nine and a half miles. Uh, at the beginning bit felt a bit like a slog but then once you get onto the roads you're more or less concentrated you're more you're not even thinking about it you know you're not thinking about how the distance you're thinking that you're safe and that you can get around and there's some high adrenaline parts of the journey as well which you're going a little bit downhill weaving through and stuff it's pretty cool it's pretty cool it's, it's fun it's fun and uh, we do feel like some sort of you know like you're going, you're doing something, being you know, and there's other cyclists as well, so it's cool. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.